Well hello and welcome to my latest video. Uh, I'd like to say first of all I'd like to uh, offer a warm welcome to uh, new subscribers to the channel and uh, I've noticed actually in the, the YouTube analytics which gives you a tremendous amount of data and if you've ever wondered why Mark Zuckerberg knows so much about you it's because of data mining. He is gathering data from everything. Actually, Mark Zuckerberg doesn't own YouTube, does he? YouTube is owned by Google. Oh, let me start again. Mark Zuckerberg, I owe you an apology. So the people who own Google are data miners. They are down underground in these little narrow tunnels, these little narrow data tunnels with canaries in front of them and they're all covered in coal dust or whatever the dust is that you get from IT systems and they are pouring through millions, nay billions, nay trillions, nay Googles of data and anyway because of all that data I know that most if not the vast vast majority of my subscribers not sure about viewers, are male. Uh, and a vast, not vast, but a significant majority of them are Americans. So I would like to welcome all you guys, and it is mostly guys, I wish there were more girls, you're welcome to watch my channel, to my YouTube channel. And I do hope you enjoy the kind of stuff that I put together for you. So what are we talking about today? Well, well, guys and girls. We are talking about tire levers. Now did you know that the whole there is a whole subculture of tire levers? Did you know that? There is a magazine, Tire Lever Monthly. There is tire levering which is a kind of dogging. That's where people get together out in the fields and the woods and they compare tire levers. There are whole sub channels on your television set devoted to tire levers. So for you and all of your tire levering friends out there, this one is just for you. So I want to show you my tire levers and the birth of my obsession and my fetishistic excitement at the very thought of tire levers. So without further ado, Let's look at this pair. Now these are, these are blue, rather attractive blue, and they are by Cycling Plus, which is a uh, magazine, largely UK based I'd say. I'm not sure, hmm, that wasn't meant to happen. I'm not sure whether, I'm just scrabbling around on the ground here, trying to find this tire lever. Now this is the front wheel tire lever. This is the rear wheel tire lever and to make sure you don't forget the front wheel tire lever is always going to be in my right hand and the rear wheel tire lever is only going to be on my left hand. Now somebody left a comment on one of my videos saying what is the bike to the left of you and when they said the left of you they were obviously watching the video and therefore referring to the left of me as they were watching it but I had to say well you mean what is the bike to the right of me because there wasn't a bike to the left of me so the front tire lever is in my right hand the rear tire lever is in my left hand these tire levers are from Cycling Plus they are a very attractive shade of blue and they work reasonably well so Tire Levers Exhibit number one. Tire Lever Exhibit number two are these tools by Park Tools. Now, Park Tools is an American company, as you know, uh, started in 1794 and produced the first set of tire levers for some of the first bicycles that were ever made. The unusual thing about this was that those early bicycles didn't have tyres. So Park Tool came up with a solution to a problem that did not exist. Now I just want you to, 
I want you to ponder that for a little while. I want you to ponder what sort of a person, what level of imagination, what forethought, what feat of intellectual engineering goes into devising a solution to a problem that doesn't yet exist. Now remember, the front tire lever is in my right hand, the rear tire lever is in my left hand. These are metal, a metal tip. The rest of the tire lever, I suspect, is also metal. This is TL 6.2. Now, if you ever come across on eBay or what's it, Zebedee? No, what's what's the one in uh, what's the one in China? Alibaba. That's it, Alibaba. If you ever come across on Alibaba, the TL. 1.0 that is like the penny black stamp it's the first tire lever produced by park tools in 1792 before tires were even invented and therefore before a tire lever could even be needed it's made of wood they didn't last very long they tended to splinter quite easily and they weren't painted blue interestingly enough uh, park tools only became blue when the particular blue pigment was discovered in the mid 19th century and then all of their tools were painted this attractive blue not not this blue this is not park tool blue this is park tool blue now if i kind of switch them around like this you know where you find the the three card trick you imagine you i'm trying to confuse you with these tire levers now this is park tool blue this is not Park Tool Blue. Park Tool tyre levers are very good and they are worth buying even if they are a little more expensive than other people's tyre levers. The next one I want to show you is also quite rare and I only have one of these and this is a steel tyre lever and it was used originally during the First World War. Uh, First World War, as you know, 1914, 1918, and bicycles were quite widely used. In fact, uh, there, there was a, a, a troop of cyclists carried machine guns, uh, rode to the front, rode to the back again, and they carried these special tire levers. And I was on a, I was on a trip to Belgium, uh, as it happens, for the for the Tour of Flanders, and uh, had a couple of days to spare, so I did some. Did some wandering around on the on the battlefields through some of the trenches that you can find and I, I found this tire lever and I probably shouldn't probably shouldn't have kept this because it, it may have sentimental value to somebody but I I wanted it, I saw it, I thought it was a thing of beauty, I thought it had history in it. And as I when I stroke it or when I look at it carefully or when I wave it around in the air like this it gives off it, it gives off a reek of memory there is a there is something that you can taste of those dark and sad days during the first world war when people on their bicycles from of of the british uh, there were french there were belgian there were germans there were russians the, the, the americans as well there were, there were there were troops of cyclists i don't know which which nationality this tire lever is from and you may you may well think that the tire levers don't have a nationality they have a they have a universality to them they are they are something about what is it Gaia that's it the world before it split up so if there was a if there was a tire lever and this may well be it may, may, may be a Gaia tire lever it may not even have been uh, first produced during the first world war it may have been around for millions of years before that um, but this is this is the universality of tire levers we all need them every nation every creed every religion every color cyclist that there is needs a tire lever so it's a great leveler great leveler tire lever i spend a lot of time thinking about that these are summer tire levers and you may have watched an earlier video of mine about uh, essential tools to to carry on the bike uh, when i first mentioned these particular uh, tire levers and these are by um, these are by these are by Pedro Pedro now Pedro was a 
uh, very famous, famous cyclist, uh, very famous Spanish cyclist, who uh, rode rode a number of uh, Grand Tours, Tour de France, uh, Giro d'Italia, Vuelta Espana, uh, during the war. And uh, Pedro was uh, he was much afflicted with punctures, was Pedro, and he wanted to uh, design or, or devise. Uh, a tire lever to use during during the summer months, which is when he did most of his cycling, and he came up with the the yellow colour. He knew about the he knew about the park tool blue, and he knew about this blue as well. And he wanted what subsequently became Pedro's yellow, and you can get it as a you can get it as a du dulux paint colour. You can get it as a crown paints colour. Uh, uh, other paint companies are, are available, but if you want to. If you want to paint the walls of your home, or if you want to paint your motor car, or even if you, you just want to paint your shoes or some other item of clothing, then uh, go to the DIY store and ask for a tin of Pedro's Yellow, and you'll end up with this colour. Rather, rather pretty they are. And these ones, these ones are also by Cycling Plus. So uh, every, uh, every few months, Cycling Plus gives away uh, tire levers because they know that the the readers of their magazine are much prone, much prone, very prone, are more prone than others to punctures. There has been some um, uh, research done recently by the, the Massachusetts Institute of Technology around why some people seem to get more punctures than others. And they 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 came up with an equation. Actually, they used they used thousands of, of computers. I was part of the research project because they 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 put out a message on on Twitter to which I responded. They wanted to use people's computers to to crunch the numbers, to come up with some explanation why some people get more punctures than others. And the equation they came up with was uh, um, P. This was P for for puncture and s s for susceptibility so the puncture susceptibility which they called ps equals b b times open brackets c plus d closed brackets uh, divided by that's the the divided sign uh, c over x squared uh, multiplied by x minus uh, T27 and the PS the, the puncture susceptibility if you if you run through that particular equation it will it'll take you some time and you'll need a number of computers in order to do it but you will learn that uh, what they what they what they learned which was in fact not uh, as as earth shattering as they originally thought it was was that some people are more susceptible to punctures than others, and uh, I am I am one of those. So, these tire levers are by Cycling Plus, and these are unusual in the this kind of uh, mushy mushy pea coloured tire levers. Is that the front wheel tire? In this case, you have to carry in your left hand, and the rear wheel tire lever you carry in your right hand. And if you get them mixed up, I'm afraid they don't work. Now. Moving on swiftly, these are just a, a, a little pair of tire levers, and I'll, I'll, I'll compare these with the these ones. As you, as you can see, see these are these are little tire levers, and these are these are big tire levers. And the reason why these little tire levers were, were produced is that these are for use with the Brompton. And as you'll know, the Brompton, famous folding bicycle, has uh, small wheels this kind of size, as opposed to this kind of size and obviously if you have uh, smaller tires on a smaller wheel you can get away with using smaller tire levers like this and it's also beneficial because you can use a smaller a saddle bag more smaller saddle bag to put these in and you can use them with uh, you can use them with smaller pockets so if you were to buy one of the one of the new modern small pocket jersey that's a trademark by the way small pocket you bought a small pocket jersey to use on your on your Brompton um, and it has shorter sleeves because it's obviously smaller um, then you could use these special 
smaller tire levers and these are by these are by uh, it's either top peak or toe peak or two peak or topiac i suppose so if anybody knows the connect the correct pronunciation of topic then please add it to the comments down the bottom and we have two two other final sets this is ah look this is the park tool tl 1.2 and this was developed uh, towards the end of the uh, uh, 1950s and as you can see the uh, park tool went through a number of iterations iterations that's a good word and this was one of their this was one of their later uh, designs and this one was was designed by brad park no, no relation and uh he thought well why why can't we have uh, something different uh we've been using the same basic design of tire levers for a number of years so he designed this one only uh, Brad Park was was not a very good designer so his tie leaves were intended to clip together but in fact they they don't and this particular hook which was designed to hook onto the spoke so that when you you did the lever action which is where the tire lever expression comes from you did the lever action and this hook would clip on to to the spoke and that was one of the things that uh, uh, that brad brad park introduced to the tire lever and uh, he received a bonus for his uh, uh, development a bonus of four dollars which in the mid 1950s was quite a large amount of money now you've seen the the very small Brompton tire levers, and this one, this one is a giant tire lever, and it's called a giant tire lever because it's only for use with with very big wheels or very fat tires. It doesn't work on uh, sort of 23 mil tires. It only works on tires of 40 mil and above, and that's why it's called a giant tire lever. And there is, uh, there is a pair, or rather there would be a pair, if I knew where the other one was. And uh, so I'm a little bit confused. I'm not sure whether this is the front tyre lever or whether it's the rear tyre lever. I know it's for use with big tubeless tyres, and it's, it's specially designed for, for giant tubeless tyres but i'm not sure whether it's the front tire or whether it's the rear tire so i may have to do uh one of my tests i won't include that on the video because i've 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 probably made uh I've probably gone on long enough on this video so i won't do that in the video but if i do find out then i will i will um i will click a, I, I won't click a link i will i will put a link down below and you'll be able to click on it so if you ever do happen to come across one of these giant tire levers and you have a a giant uh, tubeless tire 40 mil or above uh, uh, front or back doesn't really matter and you want to know which which tire lever this is then that link will be able to show you well i hope you've enjoyed that uh, that brief oh so brief uh, look at some of my tire lever connection the rest of them are are in uh, glass cabinets around the house and there are some that i keep in a safety deposit box because they are they are quite rare i have a gold plated one which uh is is exceeding and it's not rare um various people have, have got them but they don't work very well it's very soft material gold i don't know if you knew that if you if you ever see in, in old films you might see somebody pick up a gold coin and they bite it like that if you ever wonder why they bit it the reason is that gold is very soft and uh, uh, in, in, if it's softer than your teeth then you're okay if your teeth are quite weak then you're likely to break your teeth on it so you better hope that it is gold because if you bite down on a piece of titanium and your teeth are not in very good uh, condition then you are going to struggle my friend so tire levers uh, hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you'll watch many more um, sitting through these videos, which I appreciate can be a bit of a trial sometimes, does raise money for charity. So it's a good deed done for a good reason. So thanks for watching and see you next time.